Sample Motor Run here. Let's talk about the comparison between the Asics Meta Racer and the Adidas Adi Zero Pro. Of course, both carbon plated shoes, the, which is much the trend these days. The Adidas is firmer than the Asics. Now, our Adidas has a combination of light strike and boost. Flip them over so you can see. So basically, you've got the boost running towards the front not sure how far the light strike extends but the um the forefoot feel here is considerably firmer in the adidas uh the turnover is a little quicker a little snappier so this is going to be a shoe that i think is going to favor light runners who go at fast paces and i think for shorter distances now our asics is quite a bit bouncier and more cushioned both at the heel and especially at the forefoot. It too has a carbon plate that's wishbone shaped in this general area here. It's like a wishbone to two arms. Um, it has a longer kind of feel, longer kind of rock to it, a more gentle rock than our Adi Zero Pro, which has a more distinct toe off effect. Um, but the, the uh, Asics is clearly a more cushioned shoe. Now, it isn't like a Vaporfly or a Saucony Endorphin Pro, but it's, it, it starts to approach it, and it's not the more traditional racing flat feel we have here. Let's talk a bit about weight here. So the Asics Meta Racer comes in in my 8.5 US at 191 grams or 6.7 ounces, and the Adi Zero comes in at uh, 7.93 ounces, 225 grams, also US 8.5. So the Adi Zero is going to weigh more. It, at a 9, it'll come in about 8.2 ounces, 232 grams, whereas our Meta Racer will come in under just under 7 ounces or under 200 grams. So in terms of drop, the Adi Zero has a 10 millimeter drop, and the Meta Racer has a 9 millimeter drop, a pricing. $200 for the uh, U.S. for the Meta Racer and $180 for the Adi Zero. The Adidas must have one of the most breathable uppers ever created, this cellar mesh uh, upper. Uh, I'm fitting two to size in both. Uh, the Asics has a single layer mesh upper, uh, plenty of breathability. Uh, I'm going to say that the Asics fits absolutely flawlessly uh, and just a very gentle and totally secure fit, whereas the Adidas seems a little sloppier to me, really. There are extra holes here, so you can run the lacing through different ways. I may try that. Um, there's plenty of room in them, maybe a touch too much. I'm true to size in both. You can see their uh, toe boxes here. The Adidas appears to be a little wider, it might be. Um, it has a stiff rear piece, but the rest is totally breathable. The A6 does something very similar, has a bit more of a heel counter. So I'm gonna keep going here on my uh, run, but I'm doing about five miles. Uh, and I'll let you know uh, any more conclusions, but I'm going to say the A6 Meta Racer is a longer distance shoe, more a half shoe for me. I ran a virtual 10K in them, and they were great, uh, although I couldn't really push the pace as fast as I wanted to, whereas if I was going to do a 5K or a four-miler, maybe up to a 10K on a flatter course, I would go with the Adi Zero, especially... Uh, not only flatter, but hillier, because I found when I was in Park City, they climb better than the um, the Asics. Now, the Asics uh, would take me up to a half, I think, no problem. Uh, and its longer kind of flex would suit that better. That's what I found in the 10K. So, I'm going to keep going. So, those are our two beautiful race flats 2.0, as our wonderful reviewer, Niles, said about the Adi Zero Pro. And I say the A6 Meta Racer is a race flat plus. Let's talk about fit. There's some really significant differences in the fit between these two. So let's uh, get into it. Um, the Adi Zero Pro is a little roomier uh, and maybe a bit too roomy as, as I 
find my foot a little bit slopping around. I think I should try the extra outside holes maybe, uh, whereas the ASICS fit is just absolutely sublime and perfect. Uh, that fit um, on the Audi Zero Pro makes it also a little less stable, I think, um, because uh, both underfoot and from the upper, whereas the ASICS is just perfectly stable for me. Um, in terms of uh, the ride, talked a bit about that. Uh, we'll talk about that a bit later, but um, I find the uh, ASICS super stable on downhills, but not quite as good a climber as the Adi Zero, which has more kind of spring off the front from its plate design. Um, whereas on the downhills, the uh, Adi Zero isn't quite as stable as the ASICS. So there's some choices there. Both are very nice on the flat. I'd say the Adi Zero is, uh, leads to a little quicker cadence. Um, that may be because of its plate shape, but also that firmer light strike, which is definitely firmer than the flight foam in our ASICS, which has really a relatively soft forefoot in comparison. At the heel, the Audi Zero, uh, the Audi, um, Audi Zero reminds me of the Adios Boost quite a bit, um, maybe a touch firmer, whereas our ASICS is definitely softer and bouncier. Uh, but you don't lose any impulse from it. So more a, the Audi Zero, for me anyway, more a short, shorter distance shoe, maybe up, definitely up to 10K, whereas I would easily run a half in the A6 Meta Racer, but probably not a marathon. We have uh, YouTubes here for both uh, individually, and we also have our full multi-tester review of the Meta Racer and Niles's review of the Audi Zero Pro with a multi-tester review to come real soon. Thank you very much for watching.